so here we have activities their predecessors immediate predecessors and their durations durations can be used to find out slacks and floats for activities or maybe some other calculations etc but for now we are learning how to make the network let us go ahead and start with our discussion what do we analyze before starting the network who starts my network who starts my network all the activities that do not have a predecessor if we have a look at a a does not have a predecessor otherwise everybody has some kind of predecessor so who will start this network only a so we know that a will start my network then who will end my network all the activities that are not in this predecessor list they all will end a is here then we have a b c d e f so a b c d e and f everybody is here in this list except for g so g will be ending this network then how many dummies do we need if at all we need yes we will be needing dummies so this question has a particular scenario where we will be needing two dummies to resolve the problem that we are stuck with have a look at this case what do we see over here b pairs with c and then c pairs with d so whenever you get this kind of relationship in predecessors that c is pairing with b and c is pairing with d in this case we will need two dummies and both dummies will be for c because b is not causing any problem if we have a look at this predecessor list a wherever a is seen it is alone wherever b is seen it is with c wherever d is seen it is only with c e is seen only with f f is seen only with e but it is c who is the culprit who is seen with b also and d also so how do we resolve this kind of scenario where we have b with c and d also with c in such cases we will make two dummies of c okay so let us go ahead now we'll keep in mind that when we reach this point where we need to make b and c i will not use c rather i will use dummy of c here also i will use dummy of c now because there are two dummies let me make first dummy of c and second dummy of c what this does is we know beforehand that there will be two dummies so that when we reach there we are not confused as how the network will proceed so i very well know that there will be two dummies let us go ahead and proceed with the network remember it is not at all necessary that your first network will be a very beautiful one it can have errors it can have irregularities so what do we have we have a who has no predecessors yes a can start straight away we have b c and d all who are coming from a when a ends they all start fine so we have a who is not waiting for anyone we have b c and d who are waiting that whenever a finishes they'll start a finishes b c and d start and they will end somewhere then we have e now we know beforehand that e is coming from b and not c rather dummy of c so what do i do i'll take a dummy of c 
dummies are represented by dashed lines dashed arrows i am using a different color so that it stands out and it is visible so what is this it is dummy of c this is also dummy of c this is second dummy this is first dummy so e was waiting for b and c here we have b we do not have a c but rather we have pulled c we have pulled c through a dummy to this point so here we have b and c we can have e and then there is f who is waiting for c and d we have d over here and c is coming through this path making use of dummy so we also have our f here goes our f so e and f why have i combined them because i could see that they will later be combining for g now you can put there durations on these and you can find out slacks and floats for these we'll find out slacks and floats in our next video thanks for watching bye bye